see, and that kind of gets back to, again, what's our secret sauce. We've, we've seen this explosive growth in the last two years. We've, we've increased over 200% growth in just two years. Uh, right now, we're expected to hit 4,000, 4,500 people just here in Angeles Park uh, by this time next year. So it's been it's incredible, the growth we've seen. So it's, it's fair to say, you know, we're not your typical BPO firm. Um, we are more of a high-touch workplace in the Philippines. Uh, knowledge process outsourcing is now becoming the, the number one request for our, our clients, whether it's in Australia, United Kingdom, Europe, and the United States. Um, know your clients, banking, support, services, which has become very popular for us uh, and requested for us. So we've expanded that uh, line of business for us. Um, we also talk about um, you know servant leadership. It's really important. Um, it's really our core focus. We believe in in uh, really supporting our our, our employees, uh, our entire staff um, around those engagements that we do at Cloud Staff, uh, which attracts the best people in the Philippines. Um, boring page corporate stuff again. Uh, we're, we're Australian owned. Um, our CEO founder was is from Brisbane. And, uh, but he currently lives here full time. All of our, our leadership and Western management are, all live here in the province here in North uh, I, I firmly believe there's a, there's a big differentiator when it, when it comes to when people come to see your leadership and you actually live here. Uh, a lot of companies that we found, um, BPOs, their leadership comes here once a year or twice a year. And when people ask, you know, where do you live? We live here. We're here supporting our teams every day. So that's also very important uh, when people are asking. We have a tremendous, uh, massive investment in technology and platforms. Because when it comes to outsourcing um, and that threshold, it's uh, really about how you can scale and grow your teams and operations for your clients. So these are some of the, some of the pictures of our, our sites uh, here in Angeles. Um, what our core focus is building a happy, family-friendly workplace environment. Um, and we do that, we're committed to providing an enjoyable, family-friendly workplace environment that encourages um, that career pathing for people here in Angeles Clark. Um, the tertiary is very important that people know how the outsourcing works. Right now we sit, uh, which is fully audited, we sit uh, a tertiary rate of, of 1% to 1.2%. Most people in the industry, as far as outsourcing, sit around 11, 12, 13 percent. People try to figure out how do you keep that retention rates of 98, 99 percent. And we do that again by the engagement strategy here in Angeles and, and Clark area. Uh, we call it the two family Molly strategy, where uh, they're always considered dedicated full time employees. Uh, but what we have with our staff is they're dedicated to our clients 100 percent. So once we find those roles, uh, that we're filling for our clients, that staff becomes 100% dedicated to the staff. We don't share um, there with the staff 100%. And that family approach fosters, uh, again, stability and promotes loyalty and career progression. Um, so they'll sit in our cloud staff environments, our facilities, but they're dedicated to our clients. So benefits and culture are clearly important ingredients um, for our recipes for success here, again, at cloud staff. Um, we offer a lot of perks um, as part of our engagement strategy, um, and that again, again allows us to attract the very best talent here in the region. Um, hard work and staff serving, and that goes back to servant leadership. We do a lot of engagements, like for example, you mentioned the water park. So we do a lot of surveys, we try to find what else can we do for our, our, our staff, take them to the beach. We do, uh, we do different themes. Uh, so for example, last year we took all of our staff to the beach. We created a, a theme called Rodeo, where we actually built a, a western town on the beach for all of our employees. And we shipped them all out there on buses, 46 buses. And uh, all weekend, everything all in. It was just amazing engagement. But again, that's some of the things that attract um, and keep those, those uh, low attrition rates that we found that works. The water park you mentioned, we are, uh, we're renting out the whole water park for two days just for our employees. Thank you very much, you've done an amazing job. Let's play, bring your family members. We're running out for the whole weekend. So, and, and this park is, is amazing, it is. It's equivalent to a Disney theme park. If you haven't had a chance to see, it's uh, just here in Clark. So we've got that coming up on actually June 8th and 9th for all of our staff just to come and play 
rent the whole place out. Uh, again, we, we run 24 by 7, 365 days. We're always on and operating. We cover Australia markets, we cover United States, we cover um, UK and Europe, and also parts of Asia. So, we also feel that the, the benefits and experiences are really the core to keeping those uh, engagements high and attrition is low. And these are some of the things that we do that we felt in surveys and working with our staff day in and day out um, that really set the, 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 the mark for, for an outsourcing company here in Angeles. Um, again, just random, we do uh, some of this you might not see this a Friday beer day, okay? So come <laughs> one o'clock here in Angeles, we have beer day, right? Out come the coolers, and uh, we supply all of our facilities with beer for them for the staff because somewhere in the, the region is five o'clock. So uh, that's one of the requests. Uh, birthday cakes, um, PlayStation's in every one of our centers. We have a, a VIP flight lounge in every one of our um, facilities, which is kind of cool. So instead of the, uh, the traditional type of bedding and things you have to do for night shift, we actually do a VIP flight lounge, um, which they can also uh, use with their uh, their points that we uh, we build up on our program. Free shake day. Uh, we also have a radio station. They're like, radio station? We have a full life, a life radio station that runs through all class up facilities um, for the request of our, of our employees. Funky things, really funky things like that really have an effect with our staff. Um, we have 24 hour by 7 DJs. We have different themes and different uh, days of the, of the week. Uh, and it runs through all of our facilities. You can actually catch it um, uh, live anytime. So that's another thing that, that we do. Uh, we do a lot of dinners. We do a lot of client dinners uh, with our executive team and staff, recognition awards. Uh, we do every every month. Um, medical coverage, we, we, we try to give them the best medical coverage that we can, also, medical city. Yes, uh, but I won't play all these. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I was telling you about the Rodeo. So we did the whole thing with Custom Country West. We brought in cattle, we brought the horses. It was just, it was a lot of fun. And again, these are a lot of uh, type of things that contribute to uh, to that engagement strategy of ours. Um, every new staff that comes aboard with us, they get a Cloud Staff Rewards card, which is kind of cool. So, you know, we try to make that onboarding experience uh, different than the traditional company here in the Philippines. So when they when they come aboard, they get a, uh, a, a welcome uh, kit box, they get their Cloud Staff card, and immediately what they can do is they can start using those uh, car uh, points um, based on their performance goals or KPIs. The client can actually add um, points for their, their card. And what that allows them to do is actually they can now um, use those points to exercise to buy uh, laptops online in our company store, phones, uh, food, trips. So again, it we found it to be very successful uh, loyalty program. And again, that, that uh, also helps you, again, allows to measure employees' engagement. Uh, we reward, obviously, the right values and behaviors. Our clients then can set the company goals and KPs wrap around uh, their staff's uh, reward cards. So that's also another engagement strategy that we find really effective. Um, it's more than just a culture. You know, additional greens to help us to be the uh, the number one uh, workplace here in Angeles Clark. And that's our goal, um, is to be that, that, that second home away from home. Um, Platform as far as technology is an outsourcing task. Um, again, we wrap it around the, uh, the framework to follow uh, as far as what we, what we do as far as performance process and the people. Um, we have a pretty in-depth uh, outsourcing model that we follow uh, when it comes to onboarding clients. So again, um, a lot of people, we also try to make sure that they understand, you know, it's not, uh, outsourcing is not moving those, those uh, jobs, it's not moving the, those time-consuming tasks. Uh, a lot of people don't really understand that. You know, it's not about moving the jobs offshore. We're not trying to take people away when we're talking to people in other parts of the world. Um, we just try to offset those time-consuming, repetitive tasks that stop our core staff from focusing on what they really do, which is their human sauce. And that's really why we've been really successful here is, is focusing on those minimal, time-consuming tasks for our clients. And it's worked out really, really well. We also feel uh, our best practices is really focusing on what, what, what we do best. I think every, every company has their secret sauce and what they do really best. 
we found that we've tried to narrow it down as far as core capabilities and specializations on the back office support functions that we do. And this kind of gives you an idea as far as a tick list of really what we do best as far as back office automation, e-commerce, customer service, accounting, uh, help desk, and so forth. Uh, and we really stick to what we, these core focuses. We find here the talent pool, again, um, to focus on these specializations is, is fantastic here in, in, in uh, Angeles. Uh, they, they grasp it very quickly, and uh, when we do the onboarding and training, when our clients come to work with us as part of the training and the, and the uh, learning process, it's, it's usually six weeks. So that's, it's pretty good uh, turnaround time when it comes to learning the client's um, uh, skill sets and so forth, what they're looking for, the, the daily tasks that they have to do for the client. And again, we try to again, out, uh, educate as far as how to outsource, and these are kind of some of the time frames that we stick to as far as our model when we go and we recruit for these type of jobs and tasks that are, are requested from us. Again, some more uh, time frames as far as expectations that we set during the, the stages of requirements, recruitment, then the setup, interviews, booking, training, documentation, and then we go into the stabilization periods, which is usually, uh, again, month two uh, into month three. And again, uh, technology is our big difference. Uh, when we talk to people as far as what sets us apart, it is technology. A lot of the outsourcing companies don't allow faults, and we actually were reverse. So we actually allow our customers, our clients, our, our staff to, to, to use their phones. Of course, some clients don't allow it because of security reasons, but as long as they allow their, their staff to use the, the uh, cell phones, we allow it because we are, we're big into social media proofing. And uh, we have a dedicated bandwidth just alone, just for our employees alone. We go through like one terabyte or something. It's just amazing the amount of bandwidth that we use for our staff. That they are able to use their phones whenever they like. Um, again, unless the client uh, says no. Uh, one of the other um, contributors for us, again, that we feel is uh, developing a lot of our technology in-house versus relying on third-party vendors. So we've spent, again, a massive amount of money in technology. And what it allows us to do is it allows us to build a lot of these applications uh, in-house. Because a lot of uh, outsourcing companies you'll find once you scale, you hit about 500 staff in outsourcing, you have a problem with scaling and growing because you have to rely on the, all those vendors and partners to keep up with the, with the growth. So we develop our own applications as far as uh, capacity planning, workforce, um, logging in. Uh, we have visuals on, on every desktop that the client requested. We have the technology that we built. It takes video snippets of the screens every five seconds. And we'll blur it so there's no um, issues with compliance. But it's also some of the things that we found that really helps the timekeeping uh, of everybody's staff and what they're doing. And again, all this is controlled by your cell phone. So once you become a client of, of Cloud Staff, you can monitor your staff anywhere in the world. Uh, it will tell you everything, what they've done, where they're on their breaks, where they're sitting, uh, their profile, what type of uh, hardware and equipment they're using. And again, that just helps us keep track of everything uh, and keep everything automated. I mean, we really, it's really important as you get to that size where you have to have everything on. I mean, it really helps. Uh, this again, this is more of the, te the technology allows, again, this is what we call the floor, the console. We can track um, all the staff. Um, we can see where they are by the, the moving lights uh, when they log on and so forth. And that actually can be uh, viewed by our clients when they want them. As far as their dedicated suites, whether in a, a business suite or if they're on a shared floor. Uh, again, this just talks about, we talk about some of the really key uh, pillars of our success and what we follow. Uh, the previous slides, again, um, what our specialty here that we focus on for our staff here in Angeles and Clark, again, is more of the, the sales lead generation type of staffing appointment setting. We also focus on data mining and, and business analytics, uh, customer support, retention, software, web, and application development. In-house alone, we have 78 software developers that are working on applications 24 hours a day uh, just for cloud staff and our clients that we share with them. Uh, creative services, digital marketing, social media optimization, 
uh, bookkeeping, accounting, admin, HR support. We have a, a growing accounting, um, which has become very popular now. We've expanded our accounting services in the United States and in the UK, which we started as our first uh, pillar of success in Australia. Uh, we also do ad hoc project work, so it also allows our clients to, um, if they have certain individual projects that don't require a full-time staff, we'll work with them on ad hoc hourly basis to help them with uh, their projects. Uh, we also try to, again, answer a lot of questions about outsourcing and why the Philippines. Um, so we always talk about obviously, security is number one concern. Um, we uh, obviously protect our office and our staff with all of our secure locations, uh, guard and patrols. I think a lot of you see a lot of the guards in the Philippines with their books and their sticks. We've given them, uh, we've given them uh, iPads. So all of our security actually uh, log in every hour with their barcode. And so we can tell everywhere where they are in the, in the facilities because we are 24 by 7. So we want to make sure that our clients uh, know what's going on and so forth. So again, uh, security has obviously been still the number one concern for our clients. Um, so we, again, invest a lot of time and money in that technology. We try to educate people in the, Filip uh, the Filipino culture. Um, again, a lot of people don't live here that are outsourcing here. We live here. We're here every day with, uh, with our staff and our employees here in Angeles Clark. So these are just type of questions that they're, uh, they're asking. Again, uh, we are the third largest English speaking nation in the world. Uh, the most competitive, educated, skilled also in the world, like uh, Evan mentioned to us earlier. Uh, but again, we educate as best we can about why people come here to the Philippines overall, but, but more importantly, Angeles Park. We just had uh, a meeting with uh, one of the largest banks in the world at 3 o'clock today that have been in the city for 15 years. And for the first time, they said, we want to go to Angeles Park. And I said, we've got offices in Makati, we have offices in Artigas. They said, no, we want to go to Angeles. We want to go to Papanga. So they are coming with about a team of 25 here at 3 o'clock, just to show you where people are thinking. Again, like we mentioned, uh, Angeles is, is the future. This, this Papanga area region is, is going to be the future for a lot of companies. Again, that we encourage that work-life balance. Um, you know, we, 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 again, we're a little different than your traditional BPO. We're fun, we're quirky, we would always be trying to be professional with our staff here. Uh, understanding our clients, uh, when we practice what we preach, you know, again, we're, we're all about that servant leadership, which we feel is, is really part of our secret sauce to really making a successful outsourcing operation for our clients. Um, this is just kind of a, some of the awards that we've won outside the region. And uh, that pretty much wraps up my short but brief uh, presentation. Again, thank you for all your time today.